many cows should you place with the bull that you have? Well, there's no one single answer for that. There's a lot of determining factors that need to be considered. Uh, what is the body condition of that bull? Is he thin or is he too fat? That will have an effect on how productive he can be out there in that pasture. What kind of terrain is he operating on? Is he going to be out there where it's relatively level or is there a lot of hills and so forth that he'll have to be uh, walking over? Uh, what's the length of the breeding season? A shorter breeding season will mean that you can put fewer cows with that bull. How old is that bull? If he's relatively young or he's quite old, uh, that's going to limit the number of cows that should be put in with that particular animal. Uh, the bull needs to be in good body condition. Uh, a thin bull will just get thinner when we turn him out uh, during the breeding season. A bull that's got too much condition is just simply not going to have the stamina to get out there and, and keep up with the cows. Uh, we uh, think about the terrain, you know, if it, we've got a real rough terrain that that animal is going to be working uh, over. Uh, hey, that's a lot of physical activity just simply trying to keep up with, uh, with those cows. Uh, the other thing that we run into also uh, with really rough terrain and uh, a real hilly area is that the bull needs to be where he can see the activity. Uh, once a bull notices activity in a herd, generally then that's when he will go over and start smelling and, and determine if a cow actually is in heat. So uh, again, uh, we can't have a large number of cows in a real rough area because the bull simply is not going to be able to get around to all areas and uh, get those cows bred so we don't end up with a high calf crop like we'd like to have. So I indicated earlier the length of that breeding season. Uh, you know, normally we're going to be looking at a 60 to 90 day season. Uh, if it's longer than that, you know, we can kind of stretch our bull power a little bit with a few more cows, but uh, we don't need to be putting 60 cows out there with a bull in 60 days because that's just going to be uh, too many. Uh, a mature bull under normal conditions, you're probably going to be looking at 30 to 35 cows. Uh, like I say, that's everything just kind of being average. If it's a young bull, then that number is going to need to be reduced. Uh, let's think about starting out with a bull that's maybe 18 months of age. And if we provide uh, one cow per month of age, so an 18-month-old uh, bull would be put with uh, 18 cows, that's just about the right number. A 24-month-old uh, bull, put him in with about 24 cows. And as I said earlier, uh, we move that on up to about 30 to 35 cows as the bull does get older. The factors that we've talked about gives us opportunity to make adjustments in, in the number of cows that we would want to be placing with that uh, uh, bull. But just putting uh, that bull out there doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to get the job done. We need to observe and see what is going on. First off, is the bull spotting those cows? Is he staying with them? Is he actually mounting and, and uh, getting the cows bred? Uh, the other thing we need to do anytime that, that a cow is bred is jot down that number and then watch and see if in 18 to 24 days if she starts cycling again. If so, that says she didn't get bred the first time and we need to be sure that uh, uh, just what the problem is. Uh, we also need to keep a close watch on that bull to see that he doesn't have physical problems that literally keep him from getting out there and getting the job done. Something as simple as uh, having a, a pink eye or something like that can cause a bull not to get out and breed because that's very painful and he's not going to get out, out there. If uh, he's got a bad foot, uh, you know, he's got a, uh, an injury to his reproductive tract, he's simply not going to be able to get out there and get the job done. So all these things can affect the fertility and the uh, ability of that bull to get out and get those cows uh, bred. We all know that that calf crop percent is going to determine just how good a job that that bull does. So we want to be sure and stretch our bull power as far as we can, but we don't want to stretch it too far, otherwise we end up losing a uh, part of a calf crop, if not all of it. So again, uh, if you think about the factors that we've discussed, you should get uh, uh, an idea of about how many cows to put in with each bull. If you'd like additional information on this bull to cow ratio, please contact your local extension agent.